Hey, it's Alex with alextucker.ca, and welcome to tutorial number five in your first affiliate marketing sales funnel. In this training, we're going to take a look at how you can publish a website or a funnel to a free GroovePages subdomain in GrooveFunnels. And so I'm here in GroovePages, and I'm on the uh, funnel that we built in the past tutorials. And so if I go to funnels here, um, we have funnel one. I'm just going to change the name of that to MA funnel. MA is for martial arts. And then if I go to that, then we have two pages within it. We have this page, which is the opt-in page. And then we have page two, which is the uh, thank you page. So what I need to do now is finish setting up the page and website settings and then publish it. So first I'm gonna go into edit settings for the landing page and all right, so what I all I need here is an OG image and then if I go to page two, I'm gonna have a few other things to change such as this. So we'll just call the page name thank you. And that's really all we're going to need there. And so the way that I'm going to get an OG image for my website is uh, usually I like to have a picture of the uh, what what they're going to see when they go to the website so that that's when they see when they look at it on social media so I'm just going to preview this page and then I'm going to use a browser extension called Fireshot which you can get if you just Google Fireshot okay so now I've created my OG image and I've uh, compressed it using tiny PNG and so I'm going to go into the main page here and edit the settings and then go down to OG image, click on choose image, and then I'm going to upload a new image. I'm just going to search for what I called it, which was OG, and open it. And then you need to click on this up arrow here to actually upload it uh, once it's opened. And then just come over here and click select. And now that's set as the OG image. So now I'm just going to come up here and hit the check mark. And so now we've set up the page settings. And the last thing that we need to do before we can actually publish it is set the website settings. So I'm going to come over here, click on this menu, and then go to site settings. And I just need to fill out this. So we'll call it martial arts for all. Why not? Uh, Fabicon is the image that displays in the top corner of the browser. Um, so I'm going to use my logo for that. Font will leave. That would be the universal font. Same thing with custom CSS. Um, this is where you would put in your Google Analytics or Facebook Pixel or any other uh, code that you need to integrate with the entire website. This is where it would go. And then for the OG image, um, I already set it at the page level, so I don't really need to set it here. Um, but I will set the OG title to martial arts for all. And so I'm just going to hit that. And now everything is basically good to go, and we just need to actually publish it. So I'm going to go to the drop down and publish. And so you can either host your site with Groove Pages, which is what we're going to do right now, or you can publish to your own domain. And maybe we'll go over that in a later tutorial. That's a bit more of a process. But so for now, I'm just going to host it on uh, my Groove Pages subdomain, which is alextucker.groovepages.com. And then I get to choose what I want at the end of the URL. So uh, I'll just call this martial arts and then I'm going to click on publish all right so this could take a couple of minutes to publish but 
Uh, I find it's usually pretty quick, so I'm just going to click on this link and see if it opens. Yep, there we go. So now the website is live and it's looking pretty good. And the last thing that we're going to need to do is finish connecting this form so that it actually takes you from this page to the thank you page. Oops, I typed that wrong. There we go. That's the one I need. So, so I'm just going to come back in here and I'm going to click on the form and I need to select the entire form. So now I've got the entire form selected and I can go to uh, configure and then remember I set the URL to just a hashtag. So we're going to change the URL to that and say update. And then I'm going to save it and publish. All right, so now we'll go back to the main page. So now we're here at the main page. I'm just gonna refresh it one more time in case it didn't go live yet. And this landing page should now work. All right, there you go. So it, uh, you can see the landing page works. It sent us right through to the thank you page. And so I'm gonna take uh, the next few days off from uh, this tutorial set. Now that I've kind of shown you how to get the pages up and going, uh, I'm gonna probably publish some different content for the next two or three days. And then I'll come back and we'll keep going with this series. Um, so in the meantime, uh, give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and leave me a comment letting me know uh, if you've benefited from this and if there's anything specific that you need help with going forward. As always, uh, hope that you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one.